Hi, I'm Ben Myers, the Communications Manager here at CTG Albany, and I'm here with another two-minute breakdown. Today, an introduction to our work on the role of public libraries in engaging citizens in smart, inclusive, and connected communities. In this first year of our three-year project, we started out identifying best practices from libraries across America that help their communities understand and participate in smart community initiatives. This is just an outline of our work. More is available at ctg.albany.edu, and we are continuing to explore with our partners from the American Library Association's Center for the Future of Libraries. We found libraries used infrastructure, technology, programming and services, and stakeholder engagement and partnerships in innovative ways to engage citizens in library services and municipal initiatives. We detail each of those areas in other videos here, but the findings have started to unlock the potential role of libraries in the future of smart communities. Practices generally fell into four categories. First, building blocks. These are common practices based on basic infrastructure, programs, and services that are essential for libraries. Some of these break the traditional library molds. Second, good practices. Some libraries go beyond the basics and have new and diverse features that supplement what they already do. Third, unique practices. These programs, services, and features were evident in 10 or less of the libraries we looked into. These practices have great potential to serve as a bridge between the library and smart community initiatives. Each of these may not typically be associated with a traditional library. Finally, integrative good practices. When a library combines infrastructure, technology, programs, and partnerships to engage citizens, it really becomes a catalyst in a smart community. This project is supported by a grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. The opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in the report are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Institute of Museum and Library Services. I'm Ben Myers. Thanks for joining us.